So the other tip is uh, using uh, how to make structured referencing absolute. So as an example, I'm just going to say equals this row of October column in this table. And if I take this and I I do like, like Jordan did, and I grab that fill handle in the bottom right corner and I drag over, you can see in the formula bar this is now November, and the next one is December. So if I copied that cell and instead pasted, you can see these formulas still contain October, right? So to keep absolute cell referencing, um, well, the, the poor man's way is to copy and paste. Um, but instead, if I said October through October and used it as a multi-column structured reference, then that will stay absolute if I use the fill handle. So the way to do to use absolute referencing with structured references is to do a multi-column reference. And the easiest way to do that is, um, so this is this is the way I do it. Um, just select the column, select one next to it, and then I'll usually copy and paste the text and do it that way. So it's this one's going November through November, and it won't it won't change that way then. And this was shown to me by John Akinpora, uh, who is a new Excel MVP um, out of uh, Southern California, um, who's got, I think it was his website, Excel, oh, excelcampus.com. Oh, I just forgot it. Uh, but he's got a great blog. He's a, he's, a, he's a hell of a guy. He's super nice. And he's got a ton of great stuff on here. He's the person that showed this to me. I know he wasn't originally the one that, that learned this. He learned it from someone on a forum somewhere. Um, so whoever you are who found this, thank you very much, because this was driving me insane to know it. <laughs> okay, so, so can we go back over, I'm not clear on what the problem was, because those seem like they've been 92,400 the whole time. Uh, yeah, and they have. It would probably be easier if I, I changed some of the values. So if the value in November here is 1, 2, 3, and I right. want to take this cell and I want to drag it over, but I, I you know, in standard cell referencing, you would put a dollar sign in front of the column to lock it. But with structured referencing, we can't use dollar signs. Um, right. Work. So when I take this and I, I fill or I copy, no matter what I do, that reference is not going to change. It's, it's the equivalent of absolute with structured referencing, just like you would use a dollar sign with standard cell referencing. Okay. Got it. Got it. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. So I tell you what, I, this this has to get five because you can't say enough about table. You gotta do them. All right. So those are the Excel hot tips of the week. Thanks, Zach. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks to Sylvia, Raheem, and Heather Gray. We're building this community. <laughs>